so conditions good just glancing around at the trees here at Crystal Palace there's still a fair bit of breeze but uh, Tangui on the outside in green will battle here to get ahead of Rudisha who of course is a world-class 400 meter runner himself and in fact the lead as they break from lanes there in the back straight is held by Abubakar Kaki the Sudanese is one of very few men on the world scene at the moment who he can even threaten to get close to David Rudisha just beginning to crank it up round the crown of the bend good run this from Lalang in third place he's trying to hang on to the coattails of Kaki but they come into the straight now and Rudisha cuts loose pumps hard with his arms Kaki tries to follow tries to stay in touch he moves wide but can't get past Rudisha the gap behind them is big men's 800 away then Beautiful looking runner, the best 800 meter runner in the world. Just starting to look a little bit tired here, but now he'll try and kick again down the home straight. It's a good performance from Kiprop, the Olympic 1500 meter champion. He's getting close, but he's not going to get close enough. Rudisha is going to win this. Simmons finishing quickly down the outside. Rudisha wins. Well, Kaki always went on very, very quickly, and he's done so here. He's going into the back straight very, very quickly. I remember him, we first saw him indoors, and he really did have to, he did motor, and of course the pacemakers are having a job to get past him. But there you've got it. It's uh, Tangui, Rudesha, Rudesha, and uh, Kaki. Well, they're certainly going out for a fast one here.
pressure is flowing and Kafki's not going to let him go as they come with just over 100 metres to go. Kafki's straining. Rudisha looks tall and elegant. Here comes Kafki alongside, but Rudisha looks strong. Rudisha powering down. Kafki's coming hard on his shoulder. It's Aaron's. Kafki's not giving up yet. Rudisha just gets it. David Rudisha will produce here. Can have a bucket cocky or anybody else hang on to his shirt tails here in New York. Rudisha way out in front. Rudisha from Lalan, from Diego, Asaji, but they are miles behind. This is an exhibition of 800 meter running. Kicking away down the back straight. Look at that. You don't see that at this sort of level, or you shouldn't see that. Rudisha is a class apart from everybody else. Those long legs striding out around that top end. They're not making any inroads into this. And the crowd are on their feet here in New York in the home straight. They know they're watching something special. A Rodisha attacking down the home straight. He's watching the clock. It's going to be a really quick time. He's got his eyes on the finishing line. And Rodisha hooks the quick line. Unbelievable. His world record, remember? 141 for Rodisha. 141.01. He's one one hundredth away from the 141 territory. And he's gone off there in that blue vest, second to left, chasing the tail of Sami Tangui. Well, this is a magnificent, he's going through, he's going to take over from uh, Tangui, and it's all down to him, though. The second lap is all down to the great man. World record attempt it is. This man is very, very special indeed. He is so dominant over 800 metres, over two laps of the track, and it's him versus the stopwatch. 49.5 at 400 metres for the man, 200 to go. He goes through there in 60, 74.79. The crowd roar him on, and look at the margin he leads by. 30 metres against a world-class field. Comes round the bend now into the straight, and he's still pumping hard as Rudisha. Two world records in 2010. Is one about to be broken here tonight. It's going to be mighty close. The clock ticks away. The gap behind him, 35 or 40 metres. It's not been as quick as he wanted. 141.55. Well, it's a fabulous run. It is a world best for this year from Rudisha.